Let's see if we can zoom in on it for you guys. What's up guys, DIY Savage Guy here, and on this channel, we just learn as we go. Today's a special episode, we got T-Man here, he's helping me out. I got a subscriber and he's going to be helping to wrap this vehicle. So big shout out to him for helping me out and also to you guys for being here and providing the support that you guys do because I wouldn't be able to do this without him and you guys in general. So thank you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe down below, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think of me, T, and let me know how we did with wrapping this vehicle. So this is gonna be part one of a couple video series. So make sure you guys stay tuned, check out the whole series of the wrap and check out the whole Mustang build as well. Thank you guys for being here. do a quick unboxing of this wrap. I've not looked at it yet. We got it from Vivid. They uh, seem to have some good stuff and it wasn't super pricey. We went with the matte black. Wanted to go with a different color, but they a, are a uh, Canadian-based company, and they apparently are hit really hard by COVID. So, take a look at this. It looks pretty good. It's got that shine to it, that sheer look. See if we can zoom in on it for you guys. Look at that. Looks pretty good. I like it. Seems to be good quality. We've got a roll of about a 75 feet, so it's five by 75. Hopefully it fits over the hood in one shot. I think it will. So we're gonna unbox that in a little bit. And then we're gonna get to wrapping. Alright guys, so we are going to attempt to wrap this. We have our fender. We think it's the easiest thing to start with. So we're going to do, what was it, about 58? Something like that? Uh, 64. So the fender's a little shorter than the 64, so we're going to be coming out to about here. That way we have enough extra material for any mess ups, and then we can cut and fold in as well. So I showed you guys the wrap already, so we're going to hop onto this. We measured it up with the tape measure. I'll show you guys that when we do some other pieces as well. All right, guys, so I'm with T-Man. I'll drop a link down below for his Instagram. He's been helping me out with this, and so we're gonna try to DIY this together.
All right guys, I want to give you a quick update of where we are with this. So the Thunder came out pretty good. We wound up having a little bit of trash in there um, for what we're able to do right now. It's very polleny out, very dirty, and the paint's not perfect. So it is what it is at this point. So I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, fender came out good, we're good with that. The quarter panel, we got this whole piece all the way up here. Again, we have some trash in it, but you know, we're working in a garage, we don't have a clean shop right now, but I think so far it's coming out pretty good. Looking all right, we're taping up the edges so when we do the door, we don't have any issues. But it's looking good. I like the color, I like the way it's sitting right now. And once we get it out in the sun, I'm sure it's gonna bounce and look really good. So keep you guys updated as we keep going.
All right, guys, we are at a stopping point for today. Spent about 10 hours on this, me and T, and came out okay. Um, not crazy about it, not super upset about it. Didn't think it was gonna come out perfect, so I showed you guys the fender. Fender looks pretty good. Um, there's some trash, there's some little bumps in here. You guys could see those. Door came out pretty good. Pretty happy with the door. Um, so we have some stretch, some heat marks up here. You guys can see that. Again, not perfect, learning as I go. Don't get on me, I know, I know. So, but I think it looks pretty good. So then we get back to the quarter. Quarter looks all right. Same types of issues, some like stretch marks here, have some bumps, some imperfections, stuff like that. Um, all this looks pretty good. Pretty happy with all up here. Got some trash up here, again. Now, the issue that I have is this spot. Now, it's all wrinkly back here. There's really not too much I could do about it. I don't know what to do. Um, eventually, you might have to redo it, but this side skirt was the issue. Side skirt turned out to be, you can't wrap around things. <laughs> so, um, when we were, I think if we had to do it again on the other side, I would either take this off, um, theoretically, or I would, do a better job at it. So I still have to do that little spot right there. And we got the trunk lid, we got the roof, we got the hood, we got the front bumper, we get the rear bumper, and then we have the whole passenger side of the vehicle as well. So we're getting there. Um, he's probably gonna be coming back next week to help finish this up, but I'm gonna give it a shot on my own this week and see how it does. So learning as we go, this was not something I thought was gonna come out perfectly, but so far, I think it's coming out pretty good. You know, it's gonna be one of those cars that looks pretty good from, I'm gonna say a foot away. I'll give it a foot. Foot plus. Um, anything closer than that, you're probably gonna notice some stuff. But this is what we do here. We learn um, and eventually, eventually, we're gonna get really good at this stuff. So stick with me guys, we'll keep going. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Got a lot done. The learning process it's not going to come out perfect, but next time we do this, it's going to come out a lot better. So little by little, we're getting better at it, but it's a long process and a lot to do. So if you guys are learning alongside us and enjoy this, make sure you guys subscribe down below, like, ring that bell for post notifications, comment and let us know how we did, how bad we're doing. I could take it. I'm good at that. So let me know what you guys think. You guys like the color? I do. I think it's going to look really nice when it's all done. So let me know your guys' opinions and hopefully you guys will be inspired by this and just pick up a wrench, buy a car, wrap a car, mess up a paint job, whatever you need to do. Just try to become a DIY salvage guy yourself.